Good evening. This is Community Unity Now, the D Tycoon Show. My name is Trudy Leong, Administrator of the Rogers Park Chamber of Commerce, and my colleague, Bill Morton, he is the President of the Rogers Park Chamber of Commerce, but he was called to, uh, at the last minute to another event, so so sorry that uh, he cannot join you today. Our very, very special guest on Community Unity Now is Mariana Buchwald. She is the curator of International Art Adventures. Hello, Mariana. How are you tonight? I'm very good. Thank you very much, Trudy. Uh, thank you for uh, inviting me on the show. Thank you so much for joining us. First, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how you, uh, uh, how your, the time that you lived in uh, Rogers Park, how did that um, uh, help you and influence you into uh, creating uh, international art adventures? Absolutely, yes. Um, I've lived here uh, since about 1998, long time in Rogers Park. Uh, and Rogers Park, because it's of its beautiful diversity, has inspired me to uh, and become, you know, become an artist to want to uh, engage artists from many different cultural backgrounds to uh, to collaborate and create projects together. And therefore, I I founded International Art Adventures uh, as of. Uh, Rogers Park um, has so many wonderful opportunities. The, the Summer Festival of Arts, the Glenwood Art Festival is one of them. Um, originally that was, you know, founded also by Lifeline Theatre. So uh, Lifeline Theatre is being a long part of, you know, Rogers Park community. So I, I, I was very fascinated with, you know, many different things in Rogers Park. Or, uh, you know, just a beautiful lakefront where uh, all people come together and walk up and down in the summertime, do different things, uh, do sports or run or just enjoy their live liveliness. And the, the artists of the wall festivals happening every summer, uh, that was something that was so unique about Rogers Park, again, bringing many artists together um where everybody has to paint a piece of the wall so uh, just so many wonderful things about rogers park that are geared towards art and artists are uh, so inspiring so um it really uh, encouraged me to you know found international art adventures which also invites people from all around the globe and um as I'm originally from Germany, I, I came to the United States in the 80, 80s. I um, I kept the uh, the you know the dialogue alive by creating multicultural projects all over Chicago. So I I, I became a student at the Art Institute and I graduated and then I uh, I performed many different projects in different schools all around town. And we would sometimes even practice our performances in uh, along the lakefront in Rogers Park in the summertime mm -hmm. with the dancers out there, with the drummers and the dancers. And um, that's something like a wonderful tradition that's, ha that's still alive. There is the, uh, the beach festival in the summertime, with, you know, with fire dancers and, and uh, drummers and uh, now that I'm a little older, I still, uh, you know, keep happy and alive through this wonderful vibrancy of the art community in Rogers Park. And I wanted to thank um, Bill Morton for being a substantial part of encouraging artists, you know, to be creative and to come together and work together and learn from one another. And um, I, I was honored that I could, you know, present his work all around the globe in Germany a few years ago. So, um, I, you know, I was always so impressed that he was enthusiastic, open-minded and supportive about all our wonderful projects that created along with other artists inside of Rogers Park. So Rogers Park is such a great community of uh, people from 
many different you know national backgrounds cultural backgrounds from africa from jamaica from from the uh, from russia from europe from i mean you know all around the globe um i started our, our regular salons at the old uh, church the united church in rogers park uh, with a, a wonderful choir program there, uh, Jen, uh, Jen Graves, the choir director, directed this program there, and uh, Katiana, a long-term pastor at the United Church, uh, enabled me to, you know, use you know, United Church as a, a facility to develop uh, shows there with performances for school audiences and also for our uh, Glenwood Art Festival. So yeah, I could I could probably talk long time about all the wonderful things that Rogers Park has to offer, and uh, you know there's a PO box community on the corner of Glenwood and Pratt. Then you know the upcoming uh, festival, the Philly of Soul Festival, um, you know again founded by Dorothy Milne, the, uh, the founder of Lifeline Theater. There is a drum circle by Ellen Goldberg. There's so many wonderful things going on in, in, for, in Rogers Park. Alicia is, uh, I think she she did this whole wonderful tourism center that had to close down, but now they're, you know, getting started again. Uh, so thank you uh, for being there for us, um, Trudy and Bill, for encouraging everything to keep going with the, uh, the we see a wonderful vision and support and your encouragement. So yes, Bill Morton for Ultimate of Rogers Park. Thank you, Mariana. Um, how, let's talk a little bit about how you came to collaborate with uh, Kaura Zen. Oh yes, Kaura Zen is uh, a, a, a wonderful uh, African-American poet uh, who I met by coincidence <laughs> uh, and I had you know, mistakenly left my phone in Rogers Park, and I was on my way to to uh, Forest Park. My my partner, he's from Africa, lives in Forest Park, so he let me use his phone, and we, we started talking. And I invited him into the meetings at uh, on in Rogers Park. And Ko Razan was such a great performer and artist, and he did come with me to travel all the way to Europe to uh, develop our international art adventures even further. So Kaira Zen has been on board with us ever since 2014. And uh, he really is a great networker and a publicist and is a wonderful helper and dedicated to the same mission as of Bill, Bill, uh, Bill Morton, as, as well as uh, other galleries in town who are so excited to see what Bill Morton is doing. Uh, we do work with galleries on the west side, Oliver Gallery in Alma Art and Interior, and we're going to publicize more about their work. They're going to support uh, Rogers Park uh, neighborhood as well. So, uh, you know, we truly are dedicated to developing friendships between different neighborhoods and um, encourage uh, the vision of, you know, having this friendship between different art communities in the city of Chicago, which is a city that is primarily quite segregated. You have a lot of uh, neighborhoods which are sort of, you know, segregated from one another. Majority in Bronzeville is, is African-American, West Side is African-American, and, uh, you know, the wonderful integrated neighborhoods are Hyde Park, and one of them is Rogers Park. Having integrated neighborhoods are substantial for us to to you know, really form the mission of you know bringing the world together in a peaceful and wonderful way, and uh, developing important collabor collaborations in the arts. Could you give us uh, an example of how uh, one any one of these collaborations uh, helped um, promote the peace and equality? Because uh, that is uh, uh, part of the mission of international art adventures. Absolutely, yes. So uh, thanks to the, uh, the support of Bill Morton and Trudy, uh, we're going to have several projects coming up where we are uh, um, highlighting uh, artists and 
dancers and musicians and poets to come together and express themselves vibrantly and create collaborations. Now, in the past, we had um, many wonderful little performances through, you know, the Glenwood Art Festival with uh, jugglers. Uh, Adam Seisler was a great juggler who performed in many different festivals. And he performed with us uh, in, in small performances. And Catherine Gauthier, a long-term resident of Rogers Park, uh, created wonderful composition about the, the dance of color, um, which was performed with vibrant masks that my father created. I brought them back from Germany and we performed with the masks mo in multiple occasions at the Rogers Park Festival. I just recently uh, met an old drummer of mine, an old friend of mine uh, from the West Indian Dance Company, Valroy several days ago it was very interesting um, mr baker alfred baker the founder of the west indian dance company i remember his performance in rogers park during one of these festivals it was so beautiful uh horace brown is now working as a cook but he also is a uh, jamaican dance teacher he lives in rogers park so there's a many wonderful people that are uh, that have you know, worked with us throughout as international art adventurers and um, collaborate further with us. This is my first time hearing about uh, Al Gobert's uh, drum circle. Could you describe a little bit more for us about that? Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, Alan Goldberg has a drum circle. Uh, I think it happens once a month. It's right on the corner of uh, uh, Morris and Glenwood. I think it's a multimedia art center and it's a shifty drum circle inspired by, you know, Hebrew uh, culture, of course, since he's, uh, his, his background is Jewish. Mm -hmm. Alan Goldberg is an important realtor in, in Rogers Park, who uh, is also the producer, the current producer of the uh, Glenwood Art Festival. And he he's so genu genuine, he's so wonderful, he's been uh, supporting with his uh, long-term outreach in regards of getting businesses involved and um, with donations to support art for the families for free in in Rogers Park uh, activities with you know international art adventures for about more than 10 years so uh, the, the summer festival is a wonderful thing and uh, thanks to Mr. Alan Goldberg this festival has been going on for a long time as well as thanks to Mrs. Dorothy Milne, who is now uh, continuing with her work with the Philly of Soul in the, in the springtime coming up. Mm -hmm. How, um, what other uh, aspects of uh, international art adventures are uh, you working with uh, now? What uh, the projects, etc., cetera, but, uh, that you are working on now? Right now, we are uh, we are excited about an upcoming ex uh, little exhibition at the headquarters with uh, Bill Morton coming up uh, from March to April. Uh, we have an event in February, uh, middle of uh, February, where we're going to have a special highlight event again at the headquarters too. And then in this in the summertime, we do have an international art symposium on the west side. Uh, that is again connected also uh, networking with uh, folks from Rogers Park. That fest this festival or the symposium that we're doing in the summertime is titled The Ocean Between Number Six. I had various symposiums, the majority of them inside of Germany. Last summer it was The Ocean Between Number Five in Germany in the summertime. And now it's going to be in, in, in the United States here in Chicago inviting folks from uh, from Hanover and from Berlin to come and fly in and really see the beauty of uh, Chicago, primarily, of course, Rogers Park is a, a beautiful uh, neighborhood with such diversity in, in regards of culture and nature and uh, architecture and history. <laughs> yes, because uh, part of your mission uh, is to promote dialogue among artists, and uh, you're doing Absolutely. that very well. 
uh, could you uh, give us um, a little bit uh, more detail about the different, um, uh, different uh, you, you mentioned a lot of the different countries already, but what about uh, uh, the, uh, let's talk a little bit about the dance practices that you had on the, on the beach. Uh, uh, when, uh, when was the last time that you did that? That sounds so, so beautiful. Well, uh, as soon as I got back from Germany in the summertime uh, last August, uh, we did the kids' activity at the Rogers Park Festival, and uh, Kay Razen came to meet with me and Bishal uh, Mananda. Bishal Mananda doesn't live, he, live, nef, he doesn't live far away from Moors. He lives, I think, in Green, Greenleaf, the, where the old Heartland Cafe used to be, right there in that area. Mm -hmm. And he originally is from Nepal, and he's a long-term resident in Rogers Park. And he has been working with me in curating our uh, little, you know, exhibitions inside of Rogers Park. But he's from Nepal, and he's also has he had studied at the School of the Art Institute, just like myself in Keo, Razen. So there are several artists on uh, in our group that have studied at the School of the Art Institute. And um, Keo and Bishal, they are, they've been there the longest. So Bishal Manander now is, um, he has some very wonderful textural pieces that are uh, wall pieces that are made out of many different kind of recyclable materials. He used to work at the Dunkin' Donuts. There's one right under the train on Moore's uh, train station. And he used his, the recyclable, uh, you know, debris that came from the Dunkin' Donuts and turned it into beautiful wall hangings and sculptures. But he's also a wood, uh, you know, he, he crafts things from wood. He teaches at the School of the Art Institute and he lives in Rogers Park for many years. Uh, the performances that we've been doing in Rogers Park by the lake um, and the rehearsals, those we've done in the 90s for sure, long, many, many years, many summers, and during the pandemic, um, that's where I would go every every day. There was no, there were no other places to go to. You know, in the, during the pandemic, you just go to the lake and work, uh, work walk along the lake, uh, or practice your dancing along the lake. I mean, you always had like an outlet there. You know, the beautiful beach, beach uh, along Rogers Park lends itself to to develop, you know, community events. So thanks to Rogers Park, we're grateful to have these opportunities. Have you met uh, Kim, uh, Mr. Kim at Kim's Food uh, about 7,000 North Glenwood? Uh, he has a small uh, grocery store and he is always using uh, different materials and making art and, mm. and having, posting it, um, displaying it all over the store. I don't know if you've met him yet. Oh no, I gotta see him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Well, yes, yes. We'll, we'll we'll pay him a visit very shortly. Yeah. And well, um, I wanted to mention, mm -hmm. uh, you know, next to Rogers Park, not far away, is uh, Evanston, and the Identity Dance Performance Company mm -hmm. has, you know, long term has done a long term collaboration with us. The director of the dan dance company, her name is Jenny Ching Ying, and um, you know, in the past we did. Uh, practice with her along the lake as well mm -hmm. uh, before we flew out to Germany. <laughs> so. And um, what about the, uh, that's that's great. Have you met the uh, uh, people involved in the Beach Poets yet, the, the Summer Beach Poets group and the, and the lake? Oh no, I, I, you know, I have to get more involved this uh, the coming summer. I'll be, uh, you know, intensively fascinated trying to uh, network with those people definitely mm -hmm. well we'll uh, we'll bring them in uh, uh, for that uh, for that event we'll introduce you to to them they're they're uh, always on uh, they appear at the lake and uh, do mm -hmm. uh, freestyle poetry every Sunday so they're they're oh, awesome. uh, yes <laughs> it seems as if uh, you've uh, uh, you're doing all, all of this to help promote the uh, uh, peace and diversity. Is there uh, any example of something that uh, international art adventures or some work that you've curated that uh, that has uh, made a difference in uh, that change that made some change? Uh, yes. 
uh, the biggest uh, memory I have, uh, or the biggest project that I created was an uptown, uh, you know, the Beacon Street Gallery down there in the 1990s. I created a big production called the Spirit Twin Performance. And uh, again, people people flew in from Germany and it was, you know, supported by the Goethe Institute, the German Cultural Center. And uh, we were rehearsing in Rogers Park along the, the lake for this performance as well. Uh, and I put up, you know, dancers from Germany on couches in my, you know, Rogers Park studio. And uh, that performance was and then a huge production with a wonderful drum, drummer or mu composer who created the uh, original music score for the performance uh, that we performed at the Leo Lerner Theater in Uptown. Uh, that was 1990s. And it, was, it, it brought a big change because uh, my friend from the South Side, my long-term buddy and friend, her name is Cherie Blakemore, who is continuing this friendship with me over you know many generations she's going to perform with us in this coming summer again in you know in chicago at various places uh, it, it was such you know, a powerful impact on in international art, art adventures the, the title of the performance was the spirit twin and she was my spirit twin she was, she's an African-American woman, a beautiful vocalist, a beautiful dancer. Uh, I performed the, the other part, which is the, her spirit twin from a different perspective. And uh, we, we met inside of a huge volcano. And in this volcano, that was the, uh, the performance. It was all about this volcano. And these two women met each other and sang to, together, created, um, you know, poetry together, created storytelling um, sessions together. And the storytelling aspect of uh, our work, integrating visual art, storytelling, performance, poetry, and music, live music, has been a long-term uh, part of our residencies and our performance projects and collaborations. And also another aspect, which is very important in our international art group, the, the use of, of various types of languages. Uh, the way I met Shori Blakemore was, uh, we, were, um, we met at the Moming Dance Center at, in the Belmont, you know, around Bear, Belmont and Barry. It was a, a very important theater center in the uh, late 80s. And we, uh, we learned uh, a lot of things from a great um, visionary. His name is Ping Chong. He's from New York, but originally from China. And uh, what fascinated us was the way he uh, included, you know, languages, uh, media, lighting, um, and it was beautiful. And that kind of made it special for us to develop our vision in on regards on those lines always including, uh, you know, typical languages. Uh, I had a big uh, project at the uh, Burger Park where I, uh, we developed a huge uh, exhibition, including uh, uh, an ensemble of artists uh, directed by Mary Quinn from Pellet and Chisel and, and her friend, Dorothy Norwalk, they invited folks from Europe too. Uh, we developed an exhibition called Where Do We Belong? And uh, that exhibition in Rogers Park, you know, by the theater over there along the lake, we said lovely little theater and the little outdoor um, restaurant where you can sit and drink and then go swimming if you like, uh, included an exhibition where I invited Ina Lunkenheimer from, from Germany. She came from Berlin and then we did a residency after that uh, in Berlin. Okay. So we Mariana, I, yes. Well, where we belong is with you, with all your, uh, with all your work and <laughs> all your collaborations and how you bring people together. We have mm -hmm. run out of time, but there is okay. still so much to talk <laughs> about. Thank you so much, Mariana Buchwald, uh, curator of International Art Adventures, for joining us on Community Unity Now, the D Tycoon Show. Thank you so much, Reverend Catherine Brown, D Tycoon, for hosting our show, for uh, sponsoring our show. 
And thank you so much for watching, everyone. See you again next oh. week. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Trudy. Thank you.